This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Check this out, I found tons and tons of 2020 Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Pop. Before we get started, thank you to Funko for sending us the 10 inch Jack Skellington Glow in the Dark exclusive. Everything else was self-purchase, and of course, everything in this video is my own opinion. I am the biggest Jack Skellington fan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I cannot wait to show you some of the 2020 Jack Skellington Funko. So here are the first two. We have Oogie Boogie when he was cleaned of all those worms. I think this was actually last season's because I did open some of these last year. And before we get started also, if you're a big fan, a Funko and Nightmare Before Christmas, leave a big thumbs up. We have the Oogie Boogie, the Clown, Vampire Teddy, Dr. Finkelstein, Stein, Harlequin, and Sally. This is a great scene when Jack pulls all the strings off and underneath all you find is that the Oogie Boogie is made out of worms. This purple color is fantastic. It doesn't look like worms if you were just to like take a little piece, but all of it together looks like a hodgepodge of bugs. Where is Sandy Claus? Sandy Claus, are you Sandy Claus? We better put him away. He's looking for Sandy Claus, and he's back there. Okay. Close him up carefully. Next up, this is a Jack that I have never opened before, and this is from actually a different set. Same colors, different set. Under the Sea Gal, Mummy Boy, Witch, and Vampire Jack belong to this series. This one is number 598 Jack the Vampire. His teeth don't look like vampire teeth. But nonetheless, I have never opened this one before, so let's check him out. He's a lot skinnier, different clothes than he normally has. His shoes are a little bit different, and his smile is missing some sharp teeth but otherwise, he looks just like Jack. Nat, let's open the Jack Skellington with zero glow in the dark. If you say so, I mean, I was saving that one for last. Okay, let's do it. Look how big it is compared to my hand. This is the one that Funko sent us. Holy moly. Oh, and it belongs to this set we have right here, Jack, Sally, the mayor, and Sandy Claus. So we actually now have the full set of these. I wish I kept these, cause he is so cool, but I love donating them. So after this video, they're gone forever. And also check out Nat and Essie on Instagram because sometimes I give these away, especially close to the holidays, on our Instagram. You just have to be there at the right time. Okie dokes, here we go. It's huge! Whoa, oh my goodness! He's so big, let's back him up. So. Zero is attached to him, so you don't have to worry about losing him. Jack has a bone for Zero in his hands, and apparently this Jack skeleton glows in the dark. Place him right here and get him ready to glow. Whoa! I wasn't expecting Zero to glow too! Woo! Look what I can do! Woo! That glows so well. 
that I can even see it on camera. His hands glow, zero glows, and whoa, his head glows. I was only expecting his head to glow. I almost positioned him in the camera that you could only see his head. I'm glad I showed his full body because he glows all the way down to zero. This is a cool Funko. And if you want to check out Funko, be mindful when you're going to their website. He may not be there, but check him out because you know what? You might find some that you like and I will put their information down below in the comments. Okie dokes. So I have made a video already where I opened the art one, the chaser, the mayor, Sandy Claus, and Jack and Sally. So be sure to check out my other channel to see these out of the box. I don't necessarily want to open the chase every single time. So let's move on to the last one I will open in this video, and then I will link the other one so you can check out the other characters out of the box. This is a Jack Skellington inside of Jack's house. So he actually belongs to the set. Doo -doo -doo. Where is it? Oh, and by the way, the art ones, I've only seen the Jack. I've never seen Sally, Mayor, or Oogie Boogie. Let's see. Was it on the back of this one? No. Where is the other Jack? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here it is. So on the back of this one, you don't have his house, but I guess they added it later because it's on the back right here. Let's open him up one last time. Whoa. So this one is Jack and his house. There's a scene in the movie where Jack is up in the highest tower and he's thinking and he's thinking what he's going to do about Christmas. And that is where this house is featured in the movie. Here is Jack the Pumpkin King with some pumpkins in his hand, sitting on a stack of books contemplating what he needs to know about Christmas. Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeking Out Adult. My name is Natalie, I am a 40 year old collector and oh my goodness, these were so hard to find. I have been waiting and waiting and finally somebody had a box of these for sale. They come directly from China. These here are the Cosby Nightmare Before Christmas collectibles for grown ups. On the back, we've got all the characters you can collect, and of course there is a mystery character. I am hoping it is Jack Skellington, but let's go ahead and see how it looks like inside this box of collectibles. So here is the entire box. There are eight boxes inside, and let's see how many minifigures there are in total. Cosby collection. We've got nine collectibles, eight boxes. They are Disney sealed. I think I'm ready to see what we have inside this first box of Cosby collectibles. Okay, okay, so the, the first thing inside is a bag, followed by a little stand. Ooh, and a collector's card. The collector's card will tell you probably which character you have. Whoa, that looks actually really good. I wasn't expecting it to be made this nicely. It's Sally making a potion to poison one of the characters. Then we've got the base plate, which actually pops out so you can rotate your character and make them stand the way you'd like. There is a hole at the bottom of Sally, and we're going to place Sally right in the middle of the stand. And here is our first Cosby character. What do you think? Do you think she looks fantastic? I really love the face they gave her. Okay, character number one is done. We're hoping to get the mystery character, of course. 
But let's go ahead and open box number two. Oh my goodness! Is it a common? It's zero! It's so cute! Woohoo! For the second character, we got our um, zero. He's holding a Christmas candy cane. He has a pumpkin that he's flying over with a pumpkin nose and a translucent body. There seems to be, so far, one translucent feature for every character. For Sally, it was the goblin goo in the potion that she's making. You can also take your characters, I would assume, and place them together like this. Rotate your characters in the direction you want, and the pieces will fit together so that you can display your Cosby characters. I love them so much, and I'm excited and hoping to get the ultra rare, whatever it is. I know it's Jack Skellington, but which one is it if we were to get it? What? And he's missing his collector's card. That's so weird. Does this even come off? Is this part of the character? I think we're supposed to take this off, but oh no, he's missing his um, character charm or his collector's card. I didn't see it in the box. So here is the mayor. We'll spin him on his platform and press the mayor on this side. His arms do not move, but we've got the mayor and we're missing his collector's card, which really kind of sucks. It's not in there. Cool. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, no. Okay. He's got a pumpkin. So this is a common jack. Okay. And this is our first jack. There are one, two, three, four, five jacks possible to collect. This one did have the collector's card inside. So we're going to take jack. There's a little spot where we can put his foot. These are made super well. We can place his foot in there. And then Jack sits inside of his pumpkin. I think this one is my favorite so far of all of the ones that we got. We'll stage them in the back so that we can go and move on to the last row of boxes. Okay, let's check. Who is missing? We are missing the first Jack. We are missing Scary Teddy. Sleeping Jack Skeleton Translucent Version and the mystery. So I'm assuming you'll either get the translucent or the mystery in one of these boxes. Mystery does not always mean that it is rare. If it is rare or not. I can tell we've got the very first Jack. He's wearing a vampire cape and he's looking amazing. They all feel relatively the same weight. There's none that are heavier, in my opinion, than the other. And assuming we buy one box, we get at least one of each character. Oh, finally a new character! It's the teddy! You can tell this is a newer brand. They still make a lot of mistakes, like we miss the mayor's um, badge or trading card. And also this one came with a platform with a hole, but there's no place on the bottom of the duck to actually place this character on, so it just falls off. Little mistakes are still being made, but it is a newer company, so I wouldn't have expected anything less from somebody who's trying to figure things out. Okay, really big, super big. We got the translucent one. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Okay, so we have a coffin. It says Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, and Jack is inside. That's cool. We can place them in there, close it up. And this one did not have a base, so this is actually just how this one belongs. 
I wonder if there's a little spot. See, they should have put a little hole on the bottom of this character. So if we did want to put him on a stand, we could do that as well. But Jack will go inside of the coffin. I'm assuming this will be the normal Jack, but we will see. Let's see. Very big again. And this time we got in the coffin, but we got the darker one. The character itself is the same. That's kind of sad. It should have been in black clothes to go with the black coffin and lighter clothes to go with the lighter coffin, but it is the same Jack for both of these. Okay, everyone, that was not too bad. Those are way better quality than I expected. I cannot wait to add these to my collection. These are for adults. They are adult collectibles. I am 40 years old, and I cannot expect anything less or better quality than these. My favorite one is probably Sally with the potion back there, followed by this Jack Skeleton. Please leave a thumbs up and like this video if you want to see more Jack Skeleton objects and fun products. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Nat from Geeking Out Adult. <laughs>
Okay, it's somebody new. Whoa, we got Fun Time Freddy. Aw, do you know who his puppet is? I'm not the best with Naf, but you can help me out. Does he have another name? Ooh, she's cute. Let's see if we can get this video to a thousand comments. You can comment all your favorite characters or just say hi. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I think we're going to get everybody from the top row. We just got Baby. Baby is super common. What? You think I'm a common? <laughs> hey, Baby, cry this open. <laughs> Whoa, good job. One more time. Whee! Way to go, baby. You got us Night Marion. Night Marion is considered a rare, so we're going to open up one of our other Funko Pop from the other line. So here's a quick peek of all the ones that you can get so far from Nightmares at Freddy's. And check it out. This is Glow in the Dark. This one is Walmart exclusives. And then this one is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Let's try the Walmart exclusive. Oh, awesome. I think we just got Freddy. Okay, we have five boxes left, and I don't want any more Nightmare Freddy or Nightmare Foxies. Anybody else would be great. First up, do it feel smaller. Nightmare Puppet, and he's a rare. We get to open up one more of our boxes in the back. Let's add that one. <laughs> oh yes! Whoa, their heads spin. We got Nightmare Bonnie. So here's the question for you guys. Do you like Bonnie, Nightmare Bonnie, or Toy Bonnie the most? Let me know by putting your answer down below. Now for our Glow in the Dark series, because we got a rare character. <laughs> Too perfect! We have our toy puppet, and we have our nightmare puppet, and this one here glows in the dark. Here's everybody we have so far. We have the bottom is all new with Nightmare Bonnie, and then in the back we have two doubles, and then we have our exclusives from the two other boxes. One, two, three left. This is taking too long. Let's cause some trouble. Let's open up more boxes. This one right here first. It's ours for the taking. Who's inside? We still have to pull out the bag. Let me just go get that real fast. I've almost caught it. Ooh, give it a big tug with me. Perfect. Whoa, 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 little guys. I see what you're doing. I'm supposed to be opening these. It's Nightmare Chica. You guys ready to have some of my cupcakes? Cupcakes? Well, they're not for you. <laughs> oh no, only two more left. We're still missing quite a few characters. There's only 12 to a box, and there's 15 we can collect, and we've already gotten two doubles, but we're missing quite a lot. Let's just hope we don't get any more doubles. Who is it? <gasps> okay, somebody new. It's Ballora. I've never actually seen her before. Woo! Last box. If we get an exclusive, we get to open those other two boxes. Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> Whoa! One in 24, that makes him super rare. I think his name is Anid. 
Ew, he's got eyeballs all over his body. Ew, he's got eyeballs on his ears. And here's a look at everybody that we got. We only got 10 out of the 15. And because we got a need, which is an exclusive, why don't we just go ahead and open both of these boxes? The Walmart exclusive is first. Yes! We did get an exclusive too. We got the glow in the dark Freddy. That looks pretty cool. And now for all the glow in the darks, who's it going to be? Hey, we got another Freddy! So this here is the collection of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 that I got today. If you're a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's and want to see us do more unboxing like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below who is your favorite character. That way we know to do more videos like this one and check it out. Who is your favorite? You can also subscribe by hitting the red button down below. And I will see you tomorrow in our next video. Bye, everyone.